Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and this is the Garmin Zero C1 Pro. And have you ever realized that Orion's belt is just one giant waste of space? That joke only gets about three stars. Garmin Zero C1 Pro recently came out and all of the long range guys seem to get early ones and talk to you about it how, as it relates to a rifle. And I did get a chance to use this with my buddy's rifle. He was chronoing some rifle cartridges at his indoor range. And so we tried the chrono with that, it worked fine. I was curious about this, how it would work for the USPSA IVPA action pistol shooter and developing our loads for our pistols. And I'm happy to report that the thing is absolutely amazing. So just for full transparency, because I am such an influency influencer, Garmin reached out and wanted me to take a look at this and do a review for you guys. So those of you who like to fire up shill in the comments, go ahead and get that going because this is going to be a glowing review, not because they asked me to, but because I'm selling my old chronograph because this has replaced how I chrono my ammunition because it's better. So for those of you who don't reload ammunition, you have to use a chronograph to check the speed of the load that you're developing. If you know the charge weight and you know the speed, it's coming out of your barrel based upon published load data from the powder manufacturers, you can get an idea of where the pressure is on the cartridge that you've loaded. It's a good way to kind of keep it safe and inside the lines. From the action pistol side, all of the ammunition used in pistol competitions needs to meet a minimum power factor, which is a math equation. It's grain weight of bullet times velocity in foot per second divided by 1000, and that is your power factor. Chronographs have undergone a pretty significant evolution. They started life as these big old shade sail things that you had to set up on the range perfectly level and you would borrow from your buddy and accidentally shoot it, and then they never forgave you. Well, I think Patrick forgave me. Patrick, have you forgiven me? I really am sorry for shooting your chrono. And that was an issue because of height over bore and the little arms that held up the sail, you know, sometimes got hit. And then Lab Radar came out and Lab Radar was the first commercially available radar that checked the speed of bullets in flight, which was really cool. And up until now, that has been the chronograph that I have used. The Garmin C1 Pro does what the Lab Radar does mostly, and it fits in my pocket and has an internal power source that is rechargeable. It has a really useful app that has just enough functionality to basically do what you need to do via a phone app it doesn't pretend to be like a remote or anything. It's just a very well thought out minimalist type design, which is the kind of technology that I tend to gravitate toward. I don't want all the bells and whistles that provide no value to me. I just want it to do what it's supposed to do very, very well. The big advantage of the Garmin unit is that, I mean, it's basically put together as it is. It can fit in a jacket pocket or live full time in your range bag. It is super quick to set up. There are only four buttons on the top of it. The LCD screen that it has is very readable. I checked it in four different light conditions, checked it at an indoor range, full sun, bright day, uh, cloudy day, and in the evening golden sun of winter here in Texas. The display is very, very easy to read. Part of why I really like this little unit is that it takes almost no time to set up. My lab radar is a pretty quick setup, but I have to lug to the range a camera tripod to mount it on. And then I have to plug in the external power source that use a power bank with a USB power adapter. And it takes, you know, probably three or four minutes to get set up. I can set up this Garmin unit in less than a minute. And I love that about it. I also don't have to lug around a tripod if I'm not filming, which is very nice. The app is a great companion to the chronograph and the way it works is it actually downloads software updates to the app and then pushes them onto the unit. The connection to the unit is basically instantaneous. You don't have to like search for it, pair it from your Bluetooth list. You fire up the app, it opens up if this is powered on and it will sync the data right then and there. And it's pretty much instantaneous. Basically dope that you're getting from the chrono lives in your phone so you can always refer back to it. You don't have to go write it down somewhere. The app basically becomes the history of what is on the little unit, which is very nice. Battery life seems pretty good. I've had this thing out about five times. I have no way of knowing what the battery is, but the battery hasn't died yet. I'll probably charge it sooner or later. The charge port is on the side of the unit protected by a little rubber thing so moisture doesn't get in there. And it charges based off a USB-C adapter. I like how it blacks out the screen and then lets the numbers be lighter colored. It actually makes it easier to read than the reverse, which is what pretty much all the other chronographs do. Now, before I say like I totally endorse this thing and all that kind of stuff, um, 
there are two, the two things you should be aware of. Number one, if you're somebody who likes on your lab radar the four different distances that it registers velocity at, which you can do in the lab radar, you can't do that in this, it just takes muzzle velocity. For a pistol shooter, I don't think it really matters. Other thing that you should be aware of is the price. The price on this is very expensive. It's about $600 if you can find one. The first batch of these basically sold out. They're starting to come in stock now and you're starting to be able to find them, but it is a super quality of life upgrade for the kind of person who just wants to get onto the range, spend as little as time as possible doing chronograph and then getting into your practice or shooting or whatever you're doing. This fits into that lifestyle very nicely, which happens to be the lifestyle that I have. So I'm a big fan of the Garmin Zero C1 Pro. I just wish they had fewer names for it. So I could just say like the Garmin Zero or something like that. And why is it called the Pro? Is there like another model that's the base model? I'm not real sure. Now, if you're somebody who is looking at buying a chronograph, I would recommend that you watch my other video on the Lab Radar when I bought it a couple years ago. And you can kind of see a feature comparison between this and that. I'm not gonna do a head-to-head -head video because I'll I'll just tell you in this video, I much prefer the simplicity and the ease of setup and internal battery and all the good stuff. In fact, my chronograph is the size of a GoPro on a selfie stick is very, very appealing to me. It's so fast and easy to use. It's fantastic. I appreciate you watching and check out this video here.